Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center video, Organizational Groupings and Roles. In this video, we are going to look at both system-wide and tenant-specific organizational grouping capabilities of vCloud Automation Center. In addition, we will explore the different administration and user roles, as well as the scope of their authority. vCloud Automation Center has various grouping mechanisms. This video will look at how administrators can use these grouping constructs to organize both the compute fabric as well as create business level grouping to partition services, resources, and users. Let's start by exploring the system wide administration and grouping functions. vCloud Automation Center provides different roles to help isolate responsibilities. However, a single user may be responsible for multiple roles. Our first role is the system administrator. That's typically the person who installs the vCloud Automation Center and is responsible for ensuring its availability for others to use. The system administrator creates tenants and then manages the system-wide configuration such as system defaults, branding, and configuring notification providers. The system admin also designates who is going to manage the infrastructure fabric. The infrastructure, or IAAS admin, is the person who manages the discovery and organization of compute, networking, and storage resources. The infrastructure administrator is the person who defines the managed endpoints that are required to interact and discover the infrastructure resources available in the virtual, physical, and public cloud environments that will be managed by vCloud Automation Center. Once the infrastructure fabric resources have been discovered, the infrastructure administrator also configures and manages fabric groups. Adding compute resources to a fabric group places them under vCloud Automation Center control. Fabric administrators can also manage the resources in a fabric group, but the scope of their responsibility is limited to just their fabric group. Fabric groups can also be used to segregate resources used by one organizational group from another. Many companies will likely only have one fabric group. However, if you need to make sure that one tenant or one business group cannot have VMs on the same host as another tenant or business group, you can allocate the resources from different fabric groups. This completes an overview of fabric management. Now let's look at business level administration and organizational grouping. Tenant administrators configure vCloud Automation Center for the needs of their organization. They are responsible for user and group management, tenant branding, and business policies such as approvals and entitlements. They also track resource usage by all the users within the tenant, and they initiate reclamation requests for inactive virtual machines. Tenant admins are also responsible for further subsetting users within their tenant group by creating one or more business groups and assigning users to that group. Users are the people who will request and manage infrastructure and application resources made available to that group. A support user is a person who can provision and manage on behalf of other users, but does not have the same privileges to author new services that a group manager does. A business group manager can perform some of the functions of the tenant admin, like authoring new services, but the scope of their responsibility is limited to just their group. Infrastructure resources in a fabric group can be reserved for each business group. Reservations specify the amounts of CPU, memory, and storage, including specific storage devices and networks. This allows multiple business groups to share resources from the same host or host cluster, but not consume more resources than what they were allocated. Using reservation policies, resource reservations can further subset resources allocated to a specific group, creating different service tiers of resources. Within each tenant, multiple business groups can also be created. Groups can share resources from the same fabric group or utilize different fabric groups for greater isolation of resources between groups. Most companies will only have a single tenant. However, if you need to provide additional isolation between different groups or divisions within a company or need tenant-specific branding, a number of tenants can be configured. Each tenant can have dedicated fabric groups or shared fabric group resources if necessary. This completes our overview of vCloud Automation Center organizational grouping and administration roles. To get additional information 
and a demo that shows how to configure these policies, there are additional videos available. Performing some of these tasks requires a multi-step configuration process. The Goal Navigator can be used to simplify some of our more complex administration tasks. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.